Okay, in this video, I will show you guys what continuous fractions are. I will first show you guys how to write a regular fraction into its continuous fractions form. I will also tell you guys what simple continuous fractions are, and also I will tell you guys only rational numbers have simple continuous fractions with finite amount of terms. I will tell you guys what I mean by all that. So let me first show you guys, let's say we have a rational number 37 over 13. Of course, this is an improper fraction. We have a bigger number on the top, so we can go ahead and divide 37 and 13. Of course, we need a 2 and put a 26, subtract, you get 11. In another word, we can write this as 2 and 11 over 13. And what you're saying is 2 plus 11 over 13. And that's great. Whenever you have an improper fraction, you can always do that. And here is a proper fraction, so it seems that we cannot continue, huh? But this is how you can do it. Look at the numerator, and remember when you do this procedure, the numerator right now will be smaller than the bottom, right? And if you're willing to bring this down, down, you can get another improper fraction in this denominator, and you can do long division again. Let me show you. Here we have 2 is right here, and then the plus. I will just have a 1 on the top, and then over this 13, and then this 11 will be down, down, like this now. So, if you look at this, 13 over 11, it's another improper fraction. You can go ahead and do a long division again. So, I can do that kind of thing right here. So, you just continue, <laughs> put on the 2 plus 1 over, this right here is saying 1 and 2 over 11. So I will just put down 1 plus 2 over 11. Are we done? No, because we can actually continue. Because I can bring these two down, down. And you see, whenever you bring the things down, down, the top right here will become a 1, right? But let me just do that for you guys. This becomes like this. And of course, let's do it real quick. If you continue, this is 2 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 11 over 2 is 5 and 1 half. So you can put that down right here. 5 plus 1 half. And can you continue? Well, this is the 1 already. When you have a 1, if you bring it down, down, guess what? The top is still 1. 2 over 1 is still 2. So this right here, you stop. You stop. And this is called simple continued fraction when you have all 1s right here. I'm not talking about this one, but this one on the top of each step of the fraction, okay? And as you can see, this number had a finite many terms of the simple continued fraction. So this number has to be rational. And only rational numbers have this kind of property. And one quick way to see is, when we have a rational number, we must have an integer over a non-zero integer, right? And when you divide, the remainder has to be smaller than that integer. And of course, this process will have to stop at some point, finite many steps only. However, when we don't have rational numbers, if you want to write that irrational number in the simple continuous fraction form, you will end up with infinite amount of terms. And let me demonstrate a situation right here. So in the past, I proved that square root of 2 is irrational. So let's use square root of 2. And when we deal with square root numbers, we like to use conjugate, right? So I want to have more terms. Therefore, I will just add some number and then subtract some number, so I have more terms to work with, right? I will just add the simplest number, let's say 1. I'm not going to add 0. <laughs> so I will just write this as 1 plus square root of 2 minus 1. Of course, they are still the same. And if you look at this right here, Let's multiply the bottom and the top by its conjugate, which is square root of 2 plus 1. And let's also multiply square root of 2 plus 1 right here. And we will see that square root of 2 is equal to 1. And if you multiply on the top, this is pretty much just saying 2 minus 1, and you get 1. And that's the one that we like too. So good choice. If you pick like 5 minus 5, let me know how you go. <laughs> Anyway, this is a good choice. And then I will just put down plus 1 on the top over here. Let me just kind of switch the place. Let me write down the 1 first and then plus square root of 2. So what we are saying is square root of 2 is this. And let me just make a note right here to make this super clear. Square root of 2, we just wrote it as 1 plus 1 over 1 
or <laughs> plus square root 2 like that. And you see, here we got the square root 2 again. <laughs> so in fact, I can just plug in this expression into this square root 2, isn't it? So we'll end up with 1 plus 1 over 1 plus. And for this square root of 2, I will just replace the whole thing right here, which is this 1 plus 1 over 1 plus square root of 2, like that. But you see the square root of 2 again. So you can plug in this right here again. And of course, you can work this out too. This is just 2, right? So let's see. This is going to be 1 plus 1 over... This right here is 2 now. And then we add it with 1 on the top over 1 plus for the square root of 2, which is that. So I can put down 1 plus 1 over 1 plus square root of 2 like this. But I see a square root of 2 again, right? So what can I do? Do it again, of course. And of course, do, let's just save some space. Let's just erase 1 plus 1. Let's just put it as 2. And then let me just erase this right here. And I'll just enter this right here again, which is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus square root of 2. <sighs> How many times do you want me to do this? I don't know. Seriously, I think this is enough. So let me erase this and put on dot 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 because this right here can keep on going forever, right? And of course, let me fix this. 1 plus 1, of course, I can write it down as 2, like that. And you see, the beauty of all this is that here you have 1, just like that 1. Here you have this 1. Here you have this 1. Here you have this 1. And then you have all the 1s over there. So in another word, this continual fraction is simple and infinite. Therefore, you can actually use this to argue that square root of 2 is irrational. This is actually a legitimate proof. Anytime you can write a number in the, the continual fraction form that's simple and infinite like this, it has to be irrational. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Hopefully it gets all like this. And before we go, I just want to emphasize the following. When you have a rational number, if you write it as a simple continual fraction, yes, it has finite amount of terms. But if that continual fraction is not simple, then you can do whatever you want. So let me demonstrate right here. And earlier, I used square root of 2. This time, I will just use the regular 2. And I will just tell you guys that when you have a regular 2, which is the whole number, the simple continual fraction form of 2 is just 2. When you have a whole number, this is it, OK? <laughs> so this is the simple form. But if you want to have a complicated form, this is what you can do. And as we noticed the earlier, in order for me to come with continued fraction, we should have more terms, right? So let's take a look of 2, and I'll break it down to, let's say, 1 plus 1. How's that? Fair enough, right? And if you look back to the square root of 2 example, well, when I have square root of 2, I really want to see the repeat on the right-hand side. So here I have 2 already. I want to see a 2 on the right-hand side of the equation as well. That's not too bad, because I can look at this 1 as 2 over 2. Now it's still 2, isn't it? So that's pretty much it. And I will put on a note right here as well. What we're saying is that 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 over 2. And I can plug in this into this 2, and then we can continue. And as we can see, this will be 1 plus 2 over... This 2 is all that, which is 1 plus 2 over 2. But when you see this 2, you can plug in this right here again. So this is pretty much 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 2 over this 2 is this thing now, which is 1 plus 2 over 2. But when you see this 2 again, you can plug in this right here, right? So just like what we did over there, we can just erase this and then put this right here, which is 1 plus 2 over 2. And if you guys would like, of course, I don't know how many times you want me to do this, but seriously, I will just perhaps do it one more time to make you guys happy. So 1 plus 2 over. But seriously, I will have to stop. So just put down da 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 like this. Right? So hopefully, this is fair enough. However, if you look at this right here, you see a bunch of 2s right here. We don't get a bunch of 1s. Therefore, this right here is actually not simple. All right? So hopefully, you guys all enjoyed this video, and maybe I will work out more. 
can deal with fractions later on for you guys. And before we go, I just want to thank Brenda Work for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a place to learn about new things in math and science or physics, be sure you guys go check out Brenda Work because they offer a lot of interesting courses such as calculus, discrete math, number theory, logic, probabilities. I think you guys will like it a lot. And because they also believe the best way to learn is through practice, just like myself as well. So they offer problems of week questions for you guys each every week and the questions are ranging from basic to advanced. You guys will have a lot of fun solving those questions. And you know, sometimes they have like this kind of new things maybe you haven't seen in the textbooks, which is really interesting, that's worth your time to check it out. And if you guys would like to sign up for the annual premium subscription, be sure you guys use the link brandworks blackprintrepen that way you guys can get a 20% off discount if you sign up for the annual premium subscription. So hurry up, be sure you guys go check it out, and the link will be in the description for you. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching my video, and thanks so much for checking Brenda work. And as always, that's it.